Ms Patton. Uh, thank you, President. Although we've made headway into drug law reform in Victoria, we're still far behind most civilised jurisdictions. And this I heard when I attended the Victorian, Victorian Alcohol and Drug Association's excellent conference. Um, they brought out the outstanding Professor David Nutt, who was the inaugural chair of the UK Advisory Council on Drug Policies, which is a body I think we should replicate here, as well as Professor Fiona Meacham, probably the world expert on drug safety testing services. Both spoke about the evidence showing the effectiveness of harm reduction in not only saving lives, but also in saving money. And as Mick Palmer said on ABC on Monday night, we went to Iraq on less evidence than what we have got about pill testing, as he lamented on state government's refusal to give a trial to pill testing. Back at the conference, the medically supervised injecting centre was used as a case study for harm reduction. The nurses at the coalface spoke about the changes the centre was making to people's lives. It isn't a silver bullet, but it is saving lives and it's successful in moving our most difficult cohort of people into health treatment, including um, hepatitis, hep C, hep C treatments. We also heard from some of our excellent committee staff from the parliament, Yuki Simmons and Raylene de Cruz, who presented on the drug law reform report that was presented last year. I'd like to thank all of the um, excellent alcohol and drug workers in our community and I will try and provide them with the tools they need um, to effectively deal with this health issue rather than a criminal one. Mr Lesmar. 